Hello everyone, welcome back to another chapter of the GT3RS. Now we are onto the polishing stage. So I've been around this morning with a paint depth gauge, done some readings. Uh, the highest I got was 126 microns. The lowest I got was 94. The majority of the car is around the 100. So it's not brilliant for lots of paint to work with, but it's not a problem. We're still gonna get there, get the car sorted and make it look amazing. Now we are gonna start with the roof. So we'll get the roof done and then obviously we can work down and get onto the rest of the car. So we'll see you in a second. The roof is now cut and polished. And look at that, absolutely incredible. Still a few little bits in there, but it is only like minor correction stuff. It's not full on and you won't see them in the outside anyway, when this is polished and coated. Now, even though the bonnet is PPF'd, we are still gonna polish it and we have done half of it. Now, if I walk backwards, you should be able to see the line of the dirt that was actually still within the PPF. You can see another section there where we've started. And um, yeah, the dirt line is crazy. So the bonnet's taken a bit more time having to obviously constantly clean the pad out to make sure that the contamination is gone. And yet we clay barred this as well. So it shows you how much dirt the PPF has held. We are at the halfway mark of polishing. So uh, driver's wing is polished, driver's door is polished, driver's rear quarter is polished, all the pillar and the roof. It just like the gloss. And you can see, like, that is just phenomenal. Absolutely crazy. When this is done, it's gonna look insane. Now, we are mixing it up a bit. This time we are using Cartex Diamond Cut 3000 for the cutting stage. And we're using Cartex Final Cut 9000 on their small pads and their new pro pads. Really good. So we're just mixing it up a bit, trying something different today. And the results are crazy. I can't wait to see this when it's done and coated outside. Good morning and welcome back to day two on the GT3 RS. 
Polishing is going really well. We are over halfway through now. Um, it's responding really, really well to the compounds we're using. And it's a very rewarding car to polish because obviously what it looked like before, the stained paint. Being white, it's quite easy to actually see where you've polished because of the staining. Um, if it was gloss white, like it is now, it wouldn't be so easy. Um, but at the same time, it's an utter ball ache to polish this car because of the shapes of the panels. Um, nothing is really flat, everything is on a curve. So you can't use a five inch pad for the majority of it. Having to use a little DA3 with a three inch pad. So it's taking a bit longer to do the work, but we are getting there. Um, as you'll see from the boot section in a minute, it's a constant up, down, round the panel curves, um, battling panel lines, basically. Prime example of the ball lake bits, like I was saying, that section there, we've had to hand polish underneath as well. Can't physically get into there because that's part of the actual boot. And then the shape of the actual, it's constantly on the curve. There's not really anything flat on that. So it's taken a lot of extra time but look at that gloss. Another one of those annoying areas is actually under the wing mirror. So these wing mirrors don't push in, they're on springs. So we've had to sort of like hand polish under that section. And as you can see, look at that PPF where the dirt and the water's got into it. So we're gonna have a little bit of fun playing with that. But it's getting there slowly, slowly. And we've just had a phone call to say that the spoiler is ready for collection. So we're gonna get that, come back, rebuild the spoiler back up. That can then be flat and polished. Obviously it's easier to do when it's built up and on the car. And then the spoiler can come back off and be put somewhere safe until it is basically one of the last things to put back on the car um, before it's done.
And thankfully that is the machine polishing done, finished, completed. Um, massive, massive shout out to Grant at Salvage Flippers. Again, I'll put his link down below. He has smashed the spoiler out of the ballpark on this. Um, I know there's a video up of it already done, but I've seen it now, it's been flat and polished and Jesus, like, I can't wait for it to go back on the car. It's the final touch and it will be the final thing to go back on once it's complete. Um, yeah, thanks for watching guys. Thanks for the support and the comments. Again, join me in a couple of days where we will start on the wheels and tires, where we'll be putting new tires on the back of the car. Wheels are coming off, cleaned and ceramic coated along with the calipers. And then we can move on to some final stages of preparation for the vehicle before we lay down some coatings and make it look even more insane than it already does. I know the owner is watching these videos eagerly. I know his friends are watching them. Um, I know he's like a little kid at Christmas waiting to see the finished result. I keep sending him little snippets and that's all he's getting till he sees it. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching and see you on the next video.